Hello, Jamie here, the Hedge Teacher. What is hedging and how does that affect you? Hedging is an act or means of preventing complete loss of a bet, an argument, an investment or the like, with a partially counterbalancing or qualifying one. In finance, it is to enter transactions that will protect against loss through a compensatory price movement. So, in other words, protecting your butt. And as I always say at the end of my blogs and my vlogs, if we don't protect ourselves, nobody else will. Those of you who have been following me for a while know my story. You know, as a family, we'd saved hard, made some investment, and yeah, you know, we were doing okay. One of our bonds expired within a week of Brexit. Who the heck would have expected that? The exchange rate just plummeted and we lost a considerable amount of money. Of course, you know, I went through all the emotions, angry, frustrated, you know, disbelief. I'd contacted my financial advisor and wanted to abuse the heck out of him, but I didn't. And with all my years of self-development, I realized that I was partly to blame. I was a lazy investor. I had handed over my money to someone with the belief that they would make me money. They didn't know Brexit would happen as much as anyone else would. I looked down at my hand. I had one finger pointing at him, and then I had three fingers pointing back at me. That's when I decided to learn more about what was really going on with our money, with finance, and how it is all controlled. What I found out shocked me. My goodness, what a real mess it is out there. The more I learned, the more I realized how bad it is. And when talking with friends and family, knowing just how little they know as well. That is why I've taken it on myself to share the information I am learning. So you too can start to build your financial intelligence and make more informed decisions. So why hedging? Hedging is often considered an advanced investing strategy, but the principles of hedging are fairly simple. With the popularity and accompanying criticism of hedge funds, the practice of hedging becomes more widespread. Most people have, whether they know it or not, engaged in hedging. For example, when you buy life insurance to support your family in the case of your death, this is a hedge. You pay money in monthly sums for the coverage provided by an insurance company. Although the textbook definition of hedging is an investment taken out to limit the risk of another investment, insurance is an example of real world hedge. Hedging in layman terms can be described as betting on both sides of a coin. You win whatever the outcome of the toss and you can lose too simultaneously. Hedging is done to limit risk or to preserve profits during times of uncertainty, like now. Gold is a hedge if you want to protect yourself from the effects of inflation. That's because gold keeps its value when the dollar falls. In other words, if the prices of most things you buy rises, so will the price of gold. Gold is isn't attractive as a hedge against a dollar collapse. That's because the dollar at the moment is the world's global currency and there's no other good alternative right now. If the dollar were to collapse, then gold might become the new unit of world money. That's unlikely because there is such a finite supply of gold. The dollar's value is primarily based on credit not cash. But it wasn't too long ago that the world was on the gold standard. That means that most major forms of currency were backed by their value in gold. Gold's historical association as a form of money is the reason it's a good hedge against hyperinflation or a dollar collapse. Many people invest in gold simply as a hedge against stock losses. Research by Trinity College in Dublin revealed that on average gold prices rise for 15 days after stock market crashes. 
Real gold can be bought as a direct investment if you think the price will go up, either because the demand will increase or the supply will decline. That reason for purchasing gold is not as a hedge, but the new old one of the block besides gold is silver. Again, it's in finite supply and the users in this modern age are numerous. Now, for more information on buying gold and silver, PM me, contact me, or visit my website www.mintbuilder.es. Mintbuilder.es, and there'll be a link below. The other forms of hedging you should look at and take a look into are real estate. Mostly a sure investment if you do your due diligence correctly and learn from some of the experts like Robert Kiyosaki. And although not on a high at the moment, it will bounce back soon as cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology. If you read some of my earlier blogs or listen to some of my earlier vlogs, you will see why leaving your money in just a normal bank account loses you money. There really are now many other hedging options available to you. Now, as always, seek legal and accountancy advice before making any rash decisions. If it doesn't feel right or seems too good to be true, it probably is. This is Jamie at The Hedge Teacher. Don't keep this a secret. Share this with your friends and family. Again, if we don't look after ourselves, no one else will. For now, until next time.